Somebody who I think might be the biggest copyright troll in the history of YouTube just outed himself. Let's talk about how we got to this point, who this person is, and what this all means for YouTube. So this is iShow Speed. He is the biggest, most watched streamer on all of YouTube right now. He's got over 15 million subscribers. He is a grinder. He's been streaming almost every day since the summer of 2020. He makes a ton of content. He's been making some music videos lately that have gotten over 77 million views. 29 million views. He is extremely popular. He's blown up. There was one point in the summer of guys. He's probably wearing it ironically. This is from two months ago. I'm pretty sure at that point, everybody understands that FDX was uh, busted. Okay. 2021, where in 14 days, he gained 1.4 million subscribers. He is an absolute phenomenon. He understands content like almost nobody else. But I show speed is also really controversial. He's been in a bunch of different controversies where he's like almost gotten canceled. He was brought on to British TV. They invited him over to watch a football match with them. And they actually rescinded their invite and cut all the clips with him out when somebody told them all of these like cancelable things that he's done. I discovered Speed uh, about a year ago and I ended up making a video called Uncancelable I Show Speed, which I basically wanted to show how he overcame all the different times where he was almost cancelled because I think his rise to fame has been really cool and interesting and something I thought would be cool to talk about but he does wade into controversy a lot. It's also worth mentioning, he's very young. He's about 19, maybe 20 years old now. His age has always been kind of a mystery, but he recently did finally confirm that he's actually 19. He used to tell people he was much older than he actually was. But in the summer of 2022, a lot of YouTubers who were talking about iShow Speed started to get copyright claims. Here's the first one I could find from a YouTuber called Omni. Now, Omni does commentary. You can see his thumbnail down there. He makes great videos. His face is on the screen. He reacts to things. He's not just reposting clips. With that said, he tweeted, I'm getting copyright claimed for the iShow Speed clip in my latest video. Disputed it and got rejected in 10 minutes by Thumb Media Affiliate, who I don't think even exists. Am I getting screwed over or is this legit? Puts my channel at risk. Yeah, Omni talked about this under one of my uh, tweets as well. This is like literally a company known for doing false copy strikes. YouTube is aware that they know uh, that they are knowingly doing false copy strikes. And YouTube doesn't give a fuck for the record. YouTube literally did nothing to this company. They, they have been doing this. Thumb Media Affiliate is the one that also came after me as well with Aiden. It's the one that Aiden is currently celebrating in this fucking tweet. of getting a strike. And Omni is right. If you get claimed by a company who says that they own your content and they're gonna take your money, you can dispute it, but that does put you at risk of getting a strike. So you have to be very careful as a YouTuber if you're gonna fight back against this kind of thing. And as you'll see throughout this story, a lot of people just yes, roll over cool. and give up because it is terrifying. Throughout the summer, more and more YouTubers continue to get claimed with YouTuber Jalen, who does commentary saying, these fuckheads claimed my video and rejected my appeal and it's not even a valid claim whatsoever. They even claim parts of my original video. They didn't even copyright it correctly. Another YouTuber, Papa Gut, says, something like this happened to me on my iShow Speed video. Hopefully Team YouTube can do something more about these blatantly bogus claims. YouTuber Internet AJ says, I got striked and disputed it and they are fighting it. So these claims were very prevalent throughout the summer. And on August 11th, 2022, I woke up to this beautiful email in my inbox. I love getting love letters from YouTube. This email was not that. They said, hi Jabroni, a copyright owner using content ID has claimed some material in your video. Your video is live in the visibility settings you selected remain applied to it but it is now either being monetized by the copyright owner or they have chosen to receive analytics about it. This is not a strike. It doesn't affect your account status, but here's the video. It was copyrighted by DRM protection for Cardigan Media by Aegis TM, claimed by Thumb Media Affiliate. So they didn't just choose to get the analytics. Here, here you have it, I, I, identical for the record. A copyright claim was created for content. Andrew Tate cannot handle my questions. Uh, he claimed it, uh, Thumb Media claimed it on behalf of Aiden. This is the video. I'm right here. The entire content of this video is me debating Andrew Tate. If anything, I should be able to fucking content claim Aiden Ross for trying to fucking pose this as his own content as all he did was sit there like a fucking dumbass. I'm literally in the middle of the fucking video. Are you out of your fucking mind, dude? And his dumbass fucking fan base turned around. This has 1.5 million views on my YouTube channel. 
And they're just trying to fucking milk it. They're trying to take these views and trying to make money off of the video that absolutely is is uh, uh, is a video that I could claim is mine. It's crazy. I'm on the video. Like, that is the next level of, of uh, copyright bullshit, okay? It's not even like I'm reacting to the fucking video. I'm not literally... I'm not reacting to someone else's video, which is certainly... Aiden Ross tried to retort this by saying it's actually his video since his socials are in the corner. Saw a clip of it a couple days ago. Yeah, I should have never been kind enough to keep his fucking socials in the corner. That's what, that was my problem. That was my issue, I guess. I never signed a fucking release. Suck my cock. I'll see you in court. You stupid fuck. You fucking imbecile. You absolute fucking dumbass. Holy shit. You stupid little bitch. What a fucking idiotic, what an absolutely idiotic baboon-like thing to fucking do. Like, oh, dude, oh, yeah, you, you signed a release? What release did I sign? You stupid shit. Are you, did you pay me to appear on that fucking Zoom call? No, you didn't. Suck my dick. You don't own that fucking content. It's quite literally me in the fucking video. see you in court like you're gonna do shit what do you mean you think i you think i'm not gonna pursue this you think i'm not gonna fucking counter are you stupid this is such an objectively incorrect thing to do and this fucking dumbass is also again stupid enough to like do this not only is he stupid enough to do this he's done it to so many people and most importantly, perhaps most significantly, he's dumb enough to gloat that he's false copy striking people. You fucking idiots. Look at him. W, chat, by the way, this is um Hassan's head moderator, chat. Put a W in the chat. We stole $8,000 from him. W, he needed that. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, W, yes. Oh, yes. How fucking stupid can you be? How absolutely idiotic can you be that you're like false striking people and celebrating it? But here's the thing with Aiden, he's in the gutter, right? He's already shit. He's already dog shit. He, he already knows that people don't like him at this point. And he's made more money than fucking God at this point, okay? The reality is that the crypto gambling casino that runs stake paid him a fucking fat bag. So now, so now, no matter what happens, Hassan Abi has been found banned from YouTube and Twitch. Oh my God. God, his fucking fan base is so incredibly stupid. Yeah. He's already made a shitload off of crypto rug pulls about fucking, you know, uh, uh, getting his dumbass fan base to, uh, hooked on, on gambling and numerous other things. And yet he's still over here gloating fucking false copy strikes. It's so, it's so incredibly dumb to brag about it too on top of that. Imagine being so stupid that you literally self-snitch. Oh, my God. Oh, what a fucking idiot, dude. The people that hang with him every day are bad, too. Do you want to link? No, I don't care. I don't care about, like, whatever fucking Nazi he's at on his stream again. Ethan had won on a very similar case and clapped up the claimant. You could easily send him to Allah, depending on how merciful you want your lawyers to be. Aiden and his fan base are the brain power of 100-year decomposing corpse. 
Anyway, it's just... And he's about to roll up with an attorney like this. I mean, no, there's plenty of lawyers that would take it. But he literally said stole. Like he said, first of all, the $8,000 is not even correct for the record. I don't think an internet anarchist understands that like, that's not how that works. It goes into, it goes into a separate pile when someone uh, copy strikes you and you can counter it and take all of those, uh, take all those dollars back. Okay. If the video is made eight grand overall, then uh, it doesn't matter. That means that you made that eight grand until they fucking copy striked it. They never go to court. They threaten until you give up or back off in a month after you counter twice. Yeah, 100%. It would be fucking so unimaginably stupid to go to court uh, over something like this when you have a, a false claim here. They chose to take all the revenue from my video, which they had done with everyone else up to this point that I had encountered. They're not copyright striking. They're just claiming. Claiming means keep your video up. Give us the money. Win win, right? Wrong. These people don't own the content that I posted. The video I posted and a lot of the other people in this story posted are fair use videos, which are completely allowed under United States copyright law. You are allowed to show a piece to critique it. You are allowed to show someone else's clip while you're doing a commentary video, especially yeah. if you're reacting to it. Do you guys want to know why? Do you guys want to know why that's like legally permissible, by the way? Because someone who happens to be my fucking podcast co-host made it legal precedent. Okay. His name is Ethan fucking Klein and his court case quite literally is taught in law books now. Like, it's copyright law. It's, it's, it's literally ridiculous to do some dumb shit like this. On top of that, there are certain rules that like every content creator knows not to fucking break. Ben Shapiro, Steven Crowder, and the like will usually not turn around and fucking uh, false strike someone because like I'm responding to their fucking videos. No matter how big of a shithead they might be, they understand that it's like an unspoken rule among content creators because that would be ridiculous. That would be insane to do. However, there are scumbags out there who don't give a fuck about that, okay? Who don't give a fuck about the unspoken rules that every content creator understands. There's a reason why so many people lose their fucking minds. Like, so many random YouTubers will get incredibly fucking mad about this because it would ruin the entire space, okay? That's what Aiden Ross is doing. Now, Gavin McGinnis did this to me, and no one really gave a shit. Why? One, because it was behind a paywall, technically. And two... I didn't pursue it. I didn't really care enough about it. And he's a fucking Nazi. You know what I mean? Aiden Ross, on the other hand, is maybe a little bit better. Supposed to be a little bit better than an out and about fucking Nazi. Which is precisely the reason why, especially as someone with like an online uh, presence outside of Kick, okay? He should know better than to do some dumb shit like this, but he doesn't. Especially if you're editing it, there is so much nuance that goes into this. But these Cardigan Media and Aegis TM people seem to just be claiming literally anyone who mentioned iShow Speed or talked about him for even a moment. And when I posted this, I took it to Twitter. So let's see what happened over there. I said there's a company called Thumb Media Affiliate that's been striking commentary YouTubers who talk about iShow Speed. I'm not sure if this company is actually affiliated with Speed or if they're just falsely striking videos. I DM Speed to see if he can confirm. And that's true. I DM Speed, I DM Cardigan Media. I DM'd everyone I possibly could to try and get a hold of Speed and see if this is legit. Nobody would answer me. I couldn't get a hold of anyone at all. And it seemed like I was just screwed, right? So I had a decision to make. I could either roll over and let the claim stay on my channel, taking all the revenue from the video I posted. I didn't know if the video would take off or not. I didn't know if it would get a lot of views. And to me, it wasn't about the money. It never was about the money. To me, it was about the principle of the whole thing. Like I made something, I put work into it, Whatever comes, I should get it. Not somebody else who had nothing to do with it. And the thing that's really screwed up about YouTube's copyright system is when you get claimed like this, they don't have to provide any information yeah. to whether or not they're even a legitimate or a real company. So this created all of this speculation about all these people saying, hey, I'm... 
I see what Hassan said. He said, I'm going to have someone trying to with my own content. Is that T-Pain? Hassan direct, bro. I'll make sure that's taken care of. It's my new editor, probably, bro. W editor? Oh, no, tweet. it's not T-Pain. <laughs> Yo, you guys are going crazy on this tweet. Aiden, come in, Aiden this W. Is, uh... Yo, W. Racist? Man, shut the fuck up. It's like tiny as fuck. I can't see, okay? Give me a goddamn break. For a second, I thought it was T-Pain until I realized this is a security guard. Ew. I don't know Yo, y'all are going crazy on this shit. My, my editor said, Hassan is tripping. He literally posted your content. Look at the tweet. His video says your watermark. Let me see. I was kind enough to literally fucking leave, by the way, which was so, which was so incredibly stupid of me and my editors to like leave his fucking socials it's like courtesy you know what i mean you said your watermark the fuck do you mean dog i'm in the video what the fuck are you saying it's transformative it's not a replacement or a container for the original video in its market which means the audience for it is not the same audience bro it's not even transformative it's me it's me me there's no transformative in that video it's literally just me Okay, here, this is the video, dude. This is the video what? that they copy striked, dude. Uh, yeah, Hustlers University is a product I stand by. There's a reason we have so much, so many fantastic reviews. We just had our one year anniversary today, actually. I did a stream to the 110,000 students. Had our one How, make the argument that this is Aiden Ross's video, please, to me. Like, uh, he's, 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 spoke, so he's speaking a lot is. in it. You've never seen it. <laughs> Yeah, look at look how transformative Self. this is. You're just going based on what you've decided, and that's that's completely fine. You're not. Also, I saw you uh, talk about joining the Marine Corps as a pussy shit, which is another rare W for you. But outside of that, it's usually just a sequence of L's. Wait, I was wondering. This about him? Andrew Tate fuck? doesn't have uh, Animal. Andrew like, Tate what? doesn't have uh, any like he has a lot of social media footprint, but not necessarily a lot of accounts. How is this happening? I, I wondered how is it. other people so they can get like. Striking this is so scummy, dude. Like, imagine striking this is incredibly fucking scummy. It's like my editors edited the fuck out of this video. And it's also quite literally me versus Andrew Tate. It's a fucking Zoom call. That is so psychotic. Isn't his argument similar to the photographer and the model argument of who owns this video? Who owns the photo? Yeah, there are, you know, sign, uh, there's, there's paperwork that distinguish that. There is no paperwork in that situation. Make more money. I already make too much money. I'm good. So, no. no the product I stand by, there's a reason we have so, much, so many fantastic reviews. We just had our one-year anniversary today, actually. I did. did they search through ACU's VOD to see if any of his channels didn't post it, too? This is clearly targeted. Yeah, I know. This stream to the 110,000 students had our one year anniversary today. 110,000 students in one year. So we're doing also, I love that even in this community, even in this fucking community, we still have people who are like, wait a minute, hold up. Let's give him, let's give him the, the fucking, uh, let's make it seem like Aiden actually has like a reasonable argument here. Like, what do you mean? He openly says he targeted me. He says his editor fucking targeted me and, and they think it's like totally fucking valid. What the fuck are you talking about? Why the fuck are you sitting here and being like, wait, hold up. Let, let's, let's think about this really quick. Uh, really quick. Uh, let's think about this clearly now. Maybe there is a validity to it. Yeah, I just realized that. Look at this shit. My fucking socials are here and you uploaded my video. <laughs> what the fuck? You stole my content. My content, dude. Insane. My content? You're not even doing anything, you fucking donkey. You're just sitting there going, uh, uh, on God, W, W. My editor's not only fucking edited this video. You. My editor's not only edited this video, but it's a video between me and Andrew Tate. That's You're just not doing anything. You're reacting to it, literally, in the fucking Zoom call. It is mind-boggling, dude.
There's no fucking release forms on this shit. It is such a fucking idiotic thing to just like claim that like you own. I think his argument is that you grabbed it off his VOD since it has the socials because we didn't screen record it on my end, okay? That's that's the only difference. This was after I was live. I was kind enough to go on his fucking... Uh, I was kind enough to also appear on his fucking broadcast. That's it. That's an insane fucking argument to make. It doesn't change anything. There is no validity to that stance. The only reason why he's able to do it is literally because he can target motherfuckers and copy strike them maliciously as you are watching a video of him and fucking Aisho Speed doing the same shit using the same fucking company. If I had signed a contract, like we're not even talking about the morality. We're talking about the legality here, right? If I had signed a contract from a legal point of view that like he has full ownership, I give away full ownership of this content of my own commentary to him, then he would have at least some kind of fucking IP argument to make. But because I don't fucking have that, it doesn't matter. XQC himself also fucking posted the entire thing. And yet for some reason, he's not copy striked. I wonder why. Perhaps because he doesn't want to go after fucking the juicers. He just wants to go after me so we can be like, yeah, on God, W, big W. I came across the, I went across him. I'm glad that this is, uh, you know, enough content for Aiden Ross for a week so that he's like not watching his sister get fucked on OnlyFans and mulling over it again and again and again.